What's up guys? It is Susie G. Welcome back to my channel. We're here today with NBA athlete Glenn Robinson. Hey, what's going on? How are you? I'm good. We're obviously going to talk fashion, but I'm going to dive right in because two years ago you won the slam dunk contest. And honestly, for me, I was there in New Orleans and it was outrageous. Thank you. Uh, you know, I think that it was uh, definitely one of the most exciting moments of uh, my career, my life. Right. Um, when I was younger, it was always the goal and the dream of mine to win a dunk contest. And uh, my grandma and mom, they told me I was crazy. I used to saw my shoes like right? Michael <laughs> Jordan. Um, I used to do like calf raises, watch all the videos right. of people winning. Uh, so actually do it and accomplish right. it was uh, definitely a goal of mine. Probably the greatest thing I've done. I mean, we jumped over two people. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, <laughs> I remember you. watching it. I just rewatched it. I was like, I forgot how great that dunk was. <laughs> um, but then diving right in, you went to University of Michigan, you're back in Detroit, and I just had the chance to do That's Five with StockX, okay, yeah. and I just read yours, which was really fun. So tell me a little bit about your fashion and your sense of kicks. Yeah, um, so I, uh, StockX, one of the headquarters is uh, here in Detroit. Okay. Um, I actually got a chance to tour it and uh, meet some of the people down there. And, Right. Um, I've ordered some shoes and there, spent some money, too much money on Too much money. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but, you know, yeah. fashion has always been a, a thing that um, I've been into. Right. Um, you know, we got some guys on our team here that uh, are into fashion, too. But um, I think it's it's, it's uh, become a ritual of mine, like uh, right. game days, to try to dress uh, dress fashionable, dress dress to impress yeah. through the games. You know, uh, we got the saying on the team, uh, you dress well, you feel well. You dress good, you feel good. So. Oh, I like that. I haven't heard that yet. <laughs> You also wear kind of like a lot of sweats with your outfits, but not like bad sweats, but not necessarily jeans all the time. Yeah. But you put those looks together so well. So like, how did that come yeah. to be? Well, uh, you know, I'm from Indiana. Uh, then I'll be in back in Michigan. You mentioned U of M. Uh, so I'm used to the cold weather. And right. all the time, we don't want to put on jeans or anything. Yeah. Just overdress sometimes. And, and uh, I like the, the sweats look. And all you got to right. do is throw on maybe a little bit more fashionable coat or, uh, you know, uh, right. some, some nicer shoes and uh, just keep it moving. So I think you can mix and match up a little bit. Right. And you said that you've purchased shoes on StockX. Do you have any favorites? Like, what's your favorite kick? I think uh, some of my favorites right now are the Jordan 1s and then uh, the Yeezys. I'm a big fan of, of right. all the Yeezys because uh, they're so comfortable and, and you can really yeah. wear them whenever. I'm such a Jordan 1 girl. I yeah. love them. <laughs> like, the retro highs I love because I can yeah. wear the men's yeah. shoes. So. Yeah. But um, also kind of, what inspired you growing up into fashion or how did that kind of come to be? Um, I think growing up, uh, my mom, she used to pick out my outfits when I was young. And really? She used to make sure, like, because I have a little bit of OCD and I think it comes from her. So she used to make sure that I was color coordinated, my jeans were ironed, my shirts were ironed. And nice. then uh, as I got older, I started, you know, uh, obviously picking out my right. I would hope my mom would still pick my outfits. <laughs> pick them out. <laughs> Nice. But uh, I became my own kind of stylist and uh, I, I like picking up just uh, different things and looking at other people right. so it's like. Um, and anything like in the future that we can kind of expect or that you're looking forward to? Um, actually uh, this summer I'm, I'm, I want to take a trip to like Italy and Paris and those, those places where uh, you know fashion is huge out there. And, right. Um, I've actually heard that they're supposed to be like three years in advance uh, over there and right. uh, something that's really popular now. Um, overseas is uh, the boots, you know, men's and women's, a yes. lot of people are wearing almost combat type of boots that come up about three quarters, so I think that that's something that's coming that a lot of people um, aren't expecting, um, and I think that uh, I'm just excited for the new fashion world. I'm the same, I always love looking at like the Europeans because they're always so yeah. kind of ahead of the game. Yeah. A lot of the sites that I shop at now are European sites, and yeah. I try to steal some stuff for theirs. <laughs> it's a good, good idea. <laughs> Um, kind of last question, a little off the radar, but um, it is Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. Who are you taking? Um, you know, it's hard to bet against Tom Brady, you know, so know. I don't, everybody's <laughs> saying that. I know it's so cliche, but, you know, I don't want right. to lose no money. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going with Tom. Go with Tom. Go with Tom. <laughs> um, I'm so excited. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. you have such great fashion style, so it's so fun to be able to kind of talk to you about that. Um, you guys make sure you follow him on the IG. It is? Uh, GlennRob3 on IG. Twitter GR3. And make sure you keep looking at his fashion. He's got some great stuff. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Peace out.